Next, let's go into the image library up at the top here. So we'll hit the add image icon and let's type in to the keyword search scribble out. Push enter. So we will choose this scribble out, put it on the board and I'm going to drag it out because what I want it to do is cover this text here. So there we go. I'm going to lock that camera setting, bring the animation time down to one second, go into the properties, bring the pause time down to zero, transition time down to zero, hit check mark. And now what I'm going to do is list off the things that you as a student will learn in VideoScribe. So I'm going to click on the previous text, hit the copy icon and the paste icon, and that has copy and pasted that text and dragged it and brought it immediately to the right of the text I had copied. So I'm going to drag that to the right so that it shows up after the scribble. And I'm going to bring this text to the top here. I'm going to go into the properties, into the T icon here, and I'm going to replace this text with, you'll learn all of the tools in Video scribe. Enter, space, 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 and how to create engaging videos. Let's hit the check mark and the check mark again. Let's click on this text, copy, paste. We will drag it over to the right. Go into the properties, go into the T here. I'm going to replace this text with you'll learn all the tools. Hit the check mark, hit the check mark. We'll drag this text on the canvas up to the top here. Clear and reset the camera position. Now let's copy and paste that element go into the properties of the new element here, go into the T, we'll replace that text with how to create engaging videos, check mark, check mark. Let's drag that text element down underneath the first text element there. Let's clear and reset the camera setting. We will copy and paste that element Go into the properties, go into the T, type create your own videos, check mark, check mark. Let's drag that down right there, clear and reset that camera setting. Let's copy and paste that element, go into the properties, go into the T. Let's replace that with sell your services, check mark, check mark. What I'm doing here as I am typing this text out is I'm typing out the main point of what I'm saying. So when I play back, you'll hear in the script that I say a little bit more than what will actually be written out because when you are creating any sort of slides that show text. You only want to show the text that gets the point across and have your voice, as I'm going to do, say a little bit more detail because if you write a ton of text on your anything, your slide, your PowerPoint presentation and so on, then your audience is going to be focusing only on what is written and not listen to your voice as well. So by only writing the key words to get the point across as my voice is being heard, that will be more impactful. I'll just continue along here quicker now and I'll speed up the rest of this because you get the gist of what I'm doing here and you don't need to see me individually write out every sentence. So we'll, we'll speed this up until we get to reviewing this scene.
you can try and set the perfect default for the time and pause and transition for video scribe for your elements to be drawn in but ultimately I like to wait until the end of creating my scene before I start setting the timing of everything because I like to have the timing go along with the script.